came to the US in 2006, I was working in the corporate world and decided to set up my own technology consulting company. I'm a, mainly a Ferrari collector. I own a, I own a couple of Porsches, but um, most of my collection is Ferraris. Just the driving experience, the quality of the build of these cars, the, the design experience that you go through uh, with the dealership. It's just a complete end-to-end -end service that they provide. I'm a car collector and I'm passionate about the, my cars and the care of the cars. And so I, I wanted to set up a business taking care of consumers. We have about five or six people in the team now, so we're, we're basically finding people that are passionate about the areas that they work in and then training them up to manage each, each independent division that we're, we're launching. So the, the vision for the future is end-to-end -end consumer care for a car. We started with a detail division, we have a design division, um, we intend to do paint protection film spray and things like that. Design for, for detailers, um, web design, uh, running websites for people, things like that. So we started out with a goal to run a set of services for ourselves, for our consumers, but we actually want to provide those services to the detail industry in general and, and basically upskill up the labor force. My father originally fueled my passion, so growing up in the UK, um, all I saw was he worked all the time and, you know, to put food on the table and stuff. And, you know, as he got a little bit more successful in what he was doing and promoted, he bought a couple of sports cars. Um, that kind of fueled my passion. Um, before I left the, the UK, I got one of my first cars, which is a BMW convertible, which I, I really enjoyed. I still have memories of my daughter washing it at three years old. So, and when I came to the US, it took about eight years to really figure out what I wanted to do before I bought my first sports car in 2014. And the collections expanded since then. set up iX Exotics I was going to partner with someone um, and that guy was running a pretty successful detail shop in, in Houston and what I noticed from the work that he was doing in my cars he had no schedule right so I would go and put my car there to get some services done on it I'd want to pick it up one day I'd have to take the day off to go get the car the car wasn't ready and so I realized that it wasn't organized. And so um, when Aaron came on board, we talked about you know, building scheduling into the, um, into the services and was told by many people, you just can't do it. So taking that challenge on, um, Aaron found you're able. Um, you know, we, we obviously looked at the subscription for that system and we, we've set about instituting a process using that system for all of the services we carry. So we're you know, part way of, of through that process with the people that we're bringing in and training. It, it's, uh, as, as you can imagine, in, in this industry, moving people from the manual work they do into a system-based process has been difficult, um, but that's something that this system has enabled us to do.